More and more Hispanic families are joining the Catholic Church. The Archdiocese of Detroit says it's seen a 49% increase since 2016. And as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, our Sandra Ali shows us the connection between the Catholic Church and family. Maria Guadalupe Romo joined Most Holy Redeemer Parish back in 2011. Right away, she felt like part of a family. I really fell in love with the community at that specific parish. Um, I just started getting involved in the youth group and in different areas I could. I ended up being a Eucharistic minister and a, um, a lector for Mass. And then eventually my parents and my sister also became members of the parish and they invited other friends. Maria's church family grew from there. They felt an even deeper connection going to mass celebrated in Spanish. Okay. It was people that understood my language, understood my culture, understood my food. It was just something that I felt pretty much at home. I've been to several that English parishes, but it's not the same because it's not the same feeling of you're welcome, you're at home. <laughs> Hispanic families are flocking to local churches. The numbers are booming, especially in Detroit. We are currently serving 91,000 um, Hispanics within the Archdiocese of Detroit. Masses now celebrated often in Spanish at more than 25 different parishes. Something synonymous between the Catholic Church being a representation of the family and Hispanic culture that sees the same thing. So whenever you have a migration of Hispanics go to a particular area, say Detroit, it's just, just it's not one single family. It's aunts, uncles, cousins, relatives. It's everyone that comes in because they know that everybody will learn from someone within the family. And, and that is representative of what the Catholic Church is as one family under God. Not only joining, but also serving. It's one way these families are giving back. It's what keeps the community active and alive. Hispanics love to serve uh, in the parishes. They love to evangelize uh, their people. A trend that continues to grow, even during more difficult times, proving faith and family often do go hand in hand. So when one goes, many follow. And, and that is literally part of the identity of why you see this exponential growth. Hispanic Heritage Month runs through October 15th. Its history goes back to 1968. Back then, it was just a week-long celebration. It wasn't until 20 years later that it was lengthened into a month-long celebration by President Ronald Reagan. Back to you.